to cover Unit 6, Lesson 3, Presenting Data. By the end of the lesson, student should be able to read and summarize numerical data in a table. So let's start with this. We have so many charts on the slide. I want you to look at them and examine the figures below. We can explain or present numbers, percentages in different ways. What purpose do they serve? Why do we draw such charts or present them? They are used to present data. And what kind of data do they present? Of course, they present numeral data, anything related to numbers. So look at the table and answer the questions. We have a table that uh, shows the regional differences in the percentage of adults taking a holiday in 2017. What does the table show? Take a minute and think about it. It shows the percentages of adults taking a holiday in different regions. What main points do you notice from the information? Take a minute and think about it. Students should point out highs and lows from the table. Examine the table again and use the provided words to complete the paragraphs. So we have a, a paragraph with missing words. I need you to place the correct vocabulary in the correct place. So let's read this together, then I will give you five minutes to do this activity. We can see from this chart that adults in Dash Midlands and Humbertide and York regions took more holidays in 1998 than adults from the rest of the regions. Southwest Dash and Northwest regions had close percentages ranging from 59% to 61%. Greater London and West Midlands Dash had the same percentage. Dash is the percentage of adults who took a holiday in the North region. East Anglia, on the other hand, recorded the dash percentage of adults taking a holiday in the same year. Looking closely to all the percentages, you may notice that they are equal to or a little above the average number of all adults in the different regions. The organization and the design of the table contributed to reading the dash effectively. So, you have five minutes to do this activity.
Now let's check the answers. East, southeast, however, 54%, lowest, and data. Hope that you all got the correct answers. Let's move on to the next practice. The table below shows the number of students studying engineering at Arab universities. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features. Make comparisons where relevant. You should go through the table line by line, describing all data and give more considered analysis of the data. So we need to look at the table, look at the years and the number of men and women. So which one is greater? Which one increased? Which one decreased? Which one is the highest number or the highest, um, yeah, the number of students? Think about it. Okay, and try to write your own paragraph. You have five minutes to do this activity.
So here is the model answer for future references. You might need to refer to in order to create your own sentences using some of the vocabulary below, or you can follow the layout, you can follow the steps in order to create your own. We do not copy paste, we do not write exactly the same because the numbers varies, of course. So let's read this together. The table illustrates the number of men and women studying engineering at Arab universities between the years 1997 and 2017 at 10-year intervals. It can be seen that the number of male students fell slightly from 14,000 in 1997 to 12,000 in 2007 and then remained level through the following decade. The number of female students is relatively low, starting at 2000 and 1997. However, while the number of men decreased, the number of women increased. Female students grow steadily by 2000 each decade. This led to a rise in the total number of engineering students from 16,000 to 18,000 in this period. Men continue to make up the majority of students. However, the proportion of female students increased sharply in this period. In 1997, there was one woman to every seven men, but by 2017, this had narrowed to one woman to every two men. Overall, we can see a clear upward trend and the number of female engineering students in Arab universities, while the number of male students seem, seems to have leveled off. So why do we have these highlighted uh, sentences? Because here where we added the numbers and we like expressed the numbers, like we used fell slightly, uh, decreased, relatively low, increased which indicates or explains the table so we can look at some other words which we can see here after female students increased sharply or leveled off so these are the useful vocabulary in order to create your own sentences you can take them and place them in your paragraph now to like make your writing more powerful beautiful that's it you can take a screenshot for the model answer as we said for future references you might need it you might refer to it in order to create your own that's it for today this is the end of the presentation we hope you enjoyed it thank you for your attention and see you next time